Hey everybody, I'm Ken Jack, and I'm going to be telling you some of the best movies that are leaving streaming this month so that you can catch them before they go. Let's start out with Casino Royale, which is leaving on August 30th. I love Casino Royale, and it's not because I'm like a big super fan of the Craig Bond edition, but I do think it was such a phenomenal introduction for his rendition of the character. You know, the opening with that parkour scene, all of the smooth sexiness to like the, the, the casino and all of that, extremely well made very exciting very thrilling love that movie next is hot rod which leaves on august 31st i was just pitching hot rod to you guys when it was coming to a different streaming service earlier last month and all that same stuff still holds true i mean it's an incredible comedy all the lonely on guys are firing all cylinders in that but you know not just them bill Hader is so good in that danny mcbride is so good in that chris parnell like so many different people in that movie and they're all really 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 good so many quotable moments and i think it's a great summer comedy but also just a great comedy in general for any time you just you're looking for something to watch lastly the Social Network is leaving Netflix on August 31st as well. I've come to realize over the last few years that uh, The Social Network isn't a movie that everyone totally clicked with the same way. Um, I do think that it is an incredibly well-made movie, um, not even just for the performance aspect, because, you know, Eisenberg is a perfect Zuckerberg. Uh, I think Andrew Garfield is so good, and Timberlake. I, the whole cast is perfect, but they also just do really, really good job in, like, those isolated, really well-built dialogue scenes. You know, Garfield coming in, storming into the office, um, the whole scene where he's talking to the, or, or rather, Zuckerberg's talking to the girl. Like, they're all, there's so many great scenes in that movie that really stand out that just, like, you're, I think if you're a fan of good filmmaking, you'll like it. Which is to say, if you're not really interested in, like, Zuckerberg or any of the lizard man's antics or Facebook or any of that shit, I still do think that you'd enjoy this movie. Let's go to HBO Max starting with Black Hawk Down, which leaves on August 31st. Black Hawk Down is a very well-made war movie. I think not only just from like the quote-unquote authenticity of it, but I do think that they kind of impose on you the same claustrophobic effect that a lot of those soldiers were feeling during that mission. Also, retroactively, it has a very, very stacked cast. You know, Tom Hardy, Nikolai Costa Waldo, Ty Burrell, Orlando Bloom, Jeremy Piven, Eric Bana, Ewan McGregor, William Fitchner, Tom Sizemore, Eon Griffin, Jason Isaacs, Josh Hartnett, and one of the best playwrights of a generation in Sam Shepard. Next up is City of God, which is also leaving on August 31st. City of God to me is one of the best foreign made movies of all time, period, full stop. And I think also for me growing up, it is a movie that uh, it also just turned me on to foreign movies in general. It's one that brought me beyond like, oh, I can watch stuff with subtitles. Oh, like movies that aren't made by Hollywood or aren't big blockbuster, aren't this stuff that's like a small, more like uh, intimate story can just be so much more enthralling and, and, and it just really can bring you into the situation that you otherwise would have no idea anything about. This is a movie where I don't think enough people have seen it, so I'm not going to give you any details on it whatsoever. I say just go watch it before it goes. It is one of the, my favorite movies ever. Perfect 100 out of 100 for me on MovieRankings.net. Next up is Twister, which is also leaving on August 31st. Not exactly the same sort of movie as City of God, but incredibly entertaining uh, disaster movie. Uh, rest in peace, Bill Paxton. He's really, really good in that. Uh, Helen Hunt, very good in that. Um, other people as well. Um, I think in the pantheon of natural disaster movies, it's not the best one, but it's certainly at the top. Not that there's like a ton of competition. Let's go to Hulu, starting with The Blair Witch Project, which leaves on August 31st. If you've listened to LCB, you know my feelings on The Blair Witch Project. I think it still holds up really, really well as one of the scary movies, at least that I've ever seen. Um, after watching it when I was younger, I couldn't go outside at night for years after because it was so terrifying. And not only is it just still independently so good, it also sort of formed the genre of found footage in the horror, or the sub-genre within the horror genre. And so many different movies have tried to replicate that same success, and nobody's really ever done it better. And I think what they were able to do with that was such a small budget with, like, you know, not, not exactly like a powerhouse cast, it was just a bunch of random kids, and they were able to make something that was scarier than like these giant mega budget horror movies that were all coming out like earlier than that time. Next is Kick-Ass, which leaves on August 31st as well. Kick-Ass on Fairly kind of gets lost between the big battle of like Titans for MC, uh, MCU and DC, DCEU. But, you know, it's it's really, really good. And I think it found a space that is, is sort of in between those two movie universes. You know, I, I you could argue that it and Deadpool kind of share the same lane as far as like black comedy, uh, you know, adjacent. Um, but I do think that they were able to do their own thing in Kick-Ass. That was really, really cool casting it was awesome um and you know rest in peace to big daddy next up is the original mad max which also leaves on august 31st this is one of the benchmark i would say dystopian movies probably for all cinematic history uh really 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 good action really good car chases and just car scenes in general the, the they have the pursuit special in that awesome awesome car 
Um, and I, I think that considering this is like an Australian made movie, it's like it really blew the doors off of a lot of what I would say American cinema was doing around the same time. All right, that's it for this video, but make sure to check out the link in the description to see all the best movies that are coming and going from streaming in the month of August. And make sure to go to movierankings.net to find out what to watch and where to watch it. I'm Ken Jack. See you next time.